Hi, I am going to be installing today a reverse osmosis system that I purchased off Amazon. It's from US Water Systems. This RO system, you can purchase it with or without a faucet. Today I'm gonna to be showing you installation with my own faucet um, so that we can look at different variations of it. Behind me, I have some tools that you're gonna need in order to do the installation. I am gonna start with just unboxing the system itself the filters, tubing, and tools that I'll need. It's really nicely packaged. This is the faucet that it comes with, but I won't be using this today. But I do believe on the US Water Systems website that it has installation video for this faucet. I did not hire a plumber for this job. I'm going to be doing it myself. But you can hire a plumber to also install this. The first set of the procedures says to mark the center for the 7 8 hole, and so that's going to be about right here. And so we're going to go ahead and drill that hole. The next step is to install the drain saddle in the hole that I have right here drilled. And you simply place it right over the hole. It goes on really easy. I'm just going to see if I can line it up. All right, it looks good. So I just want to make sure that we have it uh, move the bracket at all and make sure the hole is still there. So I just used a straw to make sure it goes all the way through. So that's definitely not in the manual, but something that I would do on my own. All right. Next, I'm going to install the angle stop valve. Um, it tells me to make sure that my water is turned off, which it is, and I'm going to install it right into this line. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and thread, put the tape on the thread. Um, just make sure when you do this that you do it counterclockwise. I think probably three wraps will do it. We just want to make sure we don't have any leaks and that's nice and tight. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and Screw this. Oh, looks good. Move this on. Next, I'm going to go ahead and connect the um, faucet line. I've got a nice seal because of the tape that we put on. All right, next we're gonna hook up all the um, easy connections in the tubes. This orange line right here goes right into the angle stop, and that is the main water line. You kinda wanna push it until you feel it give a little bit, and then you know that it is connected. Next we're gonna connect the black tubing into the drain saddle that I installed earlier push until we feel it give. The blue line, um, it comes with a faucet adapter and when um, I looked at this and looked at my faucet, um, I actually can't use this. So what I did is I decided to use a elbow and this is a reducer that allows me to feed in from a smaller line into a larger line. Feed the reducer in. Oh, that's a good fit there. So we're really tight on both sides. Good deal. All right, next um, steps is installing the membrane and the filters themselves. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this. And there is a place for this to go, I see. I'm gonna go ahead and feed this in. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, use the lubricant that was sent to lubricate the O-ring. Make sure that we get a really good seal. Go ahead and now it goes in here. Again, just pushing it until you can feel it go all the way in. Uh, take the off first. Uh, make sure when you're doing this that you make sure you lubricate it. Uh, this filter on both sides it's exactly the same. So it's seated right down in. So I'll go ahead and get it seated. Make sure that okay, it's a nice fit. Got the sediment filter in. Turn it 
drop it down into the housing itself. Again, as we put it back in it, it just naturally seats. It's this tool here. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and thread this. Again, make sure you do it counterclockwise. We're gonna install the tank shut off now. Okay, so it comes with this little handy stand. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up, connect the tubing for this. So next we're gonna go ahead and start hooking up the RO system and the um, actual tubes to the actual unit goes in right here, here, again, help, and that goes right here. Set this in here. This up to this end piece, um, goes in right here, and slides right in. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water valve on, and that is now on. The next, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the tank on. And now we just wait for it to actually go through the system itself as it fills up into the filters. So I did just turn um, the faucet on for just a minute and as you see there is black coming out of it. Um, one thing you want to make sure that you do is allow the water to kind of run through. The black is just the carbon um, that was probably settled maybe in one of the filters. And now that that's going, um, I have filtered water. One of the things I do want to mention is that I did reach out to um, U.S. Water Systems, their customer service team. I spoke to um, an individual, um, Jory, and he helped me walk through um, what I need to do to make sure I do the sanitation correctly. Um, one thing also I did is before I installed this system, I did go onto U.S. Water Systems website and I was able to look at some of the installation videos and match it up with my current um, setting because again I didn't use their faucet but I used my own so I wanted to make sure that every step I did correctly. So if you're um, having any issues with your install I would definitely recommend either giving them a call or checking out their website for their um, DIY uh, videos. So, so I'll go ahead and let the system run completely out. Um, I hope this video was helpful and um, I have our own water now.